Let's have a look at what's happening around India in brief. The Election Commission has directed the Chief Election Officer of Goa to file an FIR against Aam Army Party leader and Delhi Chief Minister Karvin Kejriwal for violating the Code of Conduct. Addressing a rally in Goa, Kejriwal had asked voters to accept money from other parties but vote for Aam Army Party. He was subsequently censored by the EC for making the statement that violates the Code of Conduct in place in the state. After witnessing week-long protests against Jalikatu ban, the police have made it clear that Marina Beach is now out of bounds for any agitation. Prohibitory orders were clamped around Marina Beach. Reports state that in the interest of preservation of peace and tranquility in Chennai and to curtail the nefarious design of anti-socials and anti-nationals attempting to disrupt public peace and order, a prohibitory order under Section 144 of Criminal Procedure Code has been promulgated in Marina. Finance Minister Arun Jetli may hike service tax to 16 to 18 percent from the current 15 percent in the budget due on Wednesday as a sign to the goods and service tax rollout. The move that will make flying, eating out, phone bills and a host of other services expensive would be an attempt to take the rates closer to the proposed tax slabs for GST. GST which will subsume central and state levies like excise duty, service tax and VAT is scheduled to be rolled out from July 1st. In order to enrich the Congress Samajwadi Party Alliance in Uttar Pradesh to report a massive win in the upcoming elections, Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav and Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi held a joint road show. The duo campaigned with a tagline, UP Koye Saat Pasan Hai. It was also announced that the Samajwadi Party will have 298 candidates while the Congress will have 105 seats. A group of researchers from IIT Delhi have come up with a unique map that will help visually impaired people navigate across the mass transit system. The map uses different textures of dotted and broken lines to represent the existing routes. The project is yet to be tested on real-time users. Two days after filmmaker Sanjay Leela Bansali was roughed up on the sets of his epic historical film, Padmavati, the police released the five persons detained. They had been arrested under Section 151 of the Criminal Procedure Court for disturbing the peace at Jagar Court, where they had allegedly attacked unit members, vandalized the sets and disrupted shooting as no formal complaint regarding Friday's incident at Jagar Court was made by anyone. In a major accident on the Jaipur Agra Highway this morning, more than 50 vehicles rammed into each other as dense fog reduced visibility. One person died in the incident while other 28 were injured in mass collision. Three of the injured are said to be in critical condition.